Hey everyone, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I have a few hauls here. Uh, the first one is a pre-order from L3 Waxy Wonder. I um, can't remember when I ordered this. I ordered it September 16th. It's on my invoice. And I did um, the scoopable waxes. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six scoopables. And I got some goodies. I always open these. They have those peanuts. Um, they are the peanuts that like dissolve, which I like. I remember uh, my son's kindergarten teacher would always ask for those. Um, my company had a bunch of stuff that I would take in for, but we did not do the ones that dissolved, but she always asked for them. So I always think of her when I get these. Uh, with each order, you do get a spoon and these are help you scoop out your waxes. And because it is a so very soft scoopable wax, if you're not familiar with these. Um, I also got some candy and I think I already ate the other piece, um, but I will give this one to my son because he likes suckers. So let's jump into the samples. So I got um, Whoville. The scent notes are not with the samples. It's like a little like candy. It smells almost like a like a but like a cake or like a buttercream kind of to me. I could be totally wrong, but that's what it smells like. Some kind of um, cake buttercream, butter icing, frosting. Next uh, sample is a silent snowflake. Mmm, that's definitely some kind of like a marshmallow. Like maybe cookie, sugar cookie marshmallow. And Season of the Witch with Vanilla Birch and Fuji Apple. And it looks like a, like almost like a, I think it's a snowflake. It's got like little leaves, but it looks like a snowflake to me. So I definitely get like that apple. It's almost like, like Scentsy's Frosted Cedar, which is like a white cedar and apple. And that's what this reminds me of it. I can smell like maybe that vanilla birch is like a, a white close, like similar to the white cedar. And then that apple note, I'm not sure what season of the witch is, unless this is what it's called. And then those were the scent notes, or if this is like a mix of all three. Um, but that's what it reminds me of. All right, um, let's jump into the um, scoopables. And I have to admit, I did sniff through these, and this one was my absolute favorite, Butterbeer, which I think is like a Harry Potter thing. Um, so Butterbeer is a frosty mug of butterscotch cream soda and crushed toffee toppings. And this smells amazing. It's like definitely butterscotch. Oh, it's good. That was butter beer. 
And again, as I was saying, like it's a real soft wax. So you literally just take that spoon and scoop it out however much you want. And then like, I usually have to finger it off or sometimes if it's hot enough on the dish, it'll kind of melt off a little. Um, next up is vanilla chestnut. Um, it's vanilla chestnut, hazelnut coffee, and sugar cookie ro royale. I was just trying to see. I think it says the same thing on the invoice. I was just, but those are the three notes that come together. And I definitely get like the hazelnut coffee. And the chestnut, I'm definitely getting the chestnut. Not so much the sugar cookie, but I wonder if that'll come through. I mean, I'm getting kind of like a, almost like a chocolate note. But I'm happy for this. This is a good coffee scent. And then I picked up a cashmere plum, plum tart, and cashmere cedar are the three blends in this. And you definitely get like the, oh, that is pretty. You get the plum. I, I do like plum a lot in wax. And like that cashmere. It's just a pretty plum. So I'm going to enjoy that for sure. Happy with that. Again, these are all in cold sniff. So um, warm may come out differently, but super excited. Um, white, white Elephant Exchange. And that is um, powdered donuts, uh, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. Mmm. That's yummy. You get all of the bakery goodness in that. That's going to be super yummy. I think I got two more. Um, this one is called Cake Topper. Look at that like fluorescent pink. It is um, white fluffy wedding cake with strawberry jam filling and buttercream frosting. Mmm, that's good. You do, you get like that strawberry jam. Mmm, this is good. I'm not typically like a strawberry fan, um, but I can tell that's got like the sweet, like bakery strawberry. And then um, last but not least, uh, sugared spruce, blue sugar and spearmint. It's funny, like sometimes you order these blindly and they sound good at the time and then you get them and then you're like, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so, The spearmint is pretty predominant there. But that, oh, that blue sugar kind of, when I warmed it up a little, it like, you know, when you rub the wax, it warms it up a little so you can kind of get a little bit of what it might smell like in the warmer. And um, yeah, that blue sugar kind of came out when I warmed it a little. Um, but the spearmint was definitely on cold predominant. So I think this one might be okay. It might be super, super strong um, with the spearmint, but we'll see. So there's everything in my haul um, from L3. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you've ordered anything recently or if you have a favorite from L3. And um, I will catch you on my next video, guys. Thank you.